All right, guys, so this video kind of puts it all together. Uh, what we're doing is we're identifying prepositional and verbal phrases. Uh, when you see a prepositional phrase, you're supposed to uh, declare whether or not it's an adjective or an adverb. I'll do the first 10 here, and then you can do the second 10 on your own. So number one, considered by many to be the best jazz improviser. This sentence begins with a verb that ends in D, uh, and this is not the main verb of the sentence. I can also delete it from the sentence. This means it's going to be a participle. This is called a past participle. Uh, consider it is not a preposition. Consider is a verb. It ends in D. It's not an infinitive because there's no to in front of it. This is a past participle. So this is a participle phrase. Number two, regarded. I actually don't need to read any more of the sentence. Regard is a verb. This ends in D. Regarded as the pace settings jazz style. This is kind of off by itself because of the comma here. I can delete it. Uh, this is non-essential information. Um, so this here is going to be a participle. It's not the main verb here. This is a participle. It's a past participle. Number three, of. Of is a preposition, so this is going to be a prepositional phrase. Uh, but that's not enough. We now have to say whether it is an adjective or an adverb phrase. Of the mid-20th century tells us which style. Jazz style is a noun. So this is, a prep, this is a prepositional phrase describing a noun, which is what an adjective does. This tells us what kind of style. So this is an adjective phrase. Number four, with Dizzy Gillespie. With is a preposition. So this is a prepositional phrase, but that's not enough. I now have to say whether it is an adjective or an adverb. Collaborated is not a noun, and prepositional phrases that are adjective phrases have to immediately follow the nouns they describe. To Dizzy, with Dizzy Gillespie comes right after a verb, and it tells us how he collaborated. So this, is, this answer is one of the adverbial questions. How did Parker collaborate? With Dizzy Gillespie. So this is an adverb phrase. Number five, to define, to verb, this is an infinitive. I really don't even need to read the sentence to see that to verb will be an infinitive phrase. Number six, for is, uh, for is a preposition. For two decades, uh, this tells us to what extent something is done, um, to, uh, so to what extent something was defined here. And so this is going to be an adverb because it answers that to what extent question, which is uh, an adverbial question. Uh, or how long? How long did he define jazz? So this is an adverb. Uh, number seven, listening. OK, when you see an ing word, you have two possibilities. Either this is a present participle, or it is a gerund. Uh, if I can't delete it, it'll be a gerund. Listening to swing music in the 1930s moved Parker. I can't delete this, or else we just start a sentence with this verb with no subject. This is the subject of the verb, so this is a gerund. So uh, number eight here, toward his own style. Toward is a preposition. Uh, toward his own style tells us wh uh, you know, how or where, and uh, it describes moved. Uh, so this is going to be an adverb because it tells us how. It doesn't actually describe Parker. Um, it describes moved. Uh, number nine, playing with various bands. Uh, playing ends in ing. Uh, so this is going to either be a participle, a present participle, or a gerund. Uh, it just depends what function it plays in the sentence. He also gained experience playing with various bands. Um, this here is not a direct object or an indirect object or objective complement. Uh, this here is a participle. Uh, it's describing uh, the, the experience here. Uh, number 10, to follow, uh, to verb, this is an infinitive. All right, so go ahead and try the uh, bottom 10 on your own. This is very similar to what you'll see on the test tomorrow.